Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at today, this is kind of a, a special treat for me. A friend of mine um, and a customer has the Unify Power Distribution High Density that uh, it's a PDU like you would normally see in data centers. So you have to have at least a 36 inch rack. Let's uh, take a look at it here. It's got 24 uh, remote uh, resettable outlets. It's got four USB-C ports. It's got the NEMA L530 plug. It has a 1.3 inch LCM touchscreen and it has to be on a 36 U or taller rack. So you can see here, they're showing it mounted in the back of the rack. And let's take a look at it here real quick. Um, let's see the deployment. So right here it shows you it goes in the back of the rack. And I believe that this has, uh, yeah, this has regular um, plugs on it, whereas a lot of your PDUs, they have the, the inverted plug. I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but you have to have special power cables for that you can see everything that comes with it here and let's take a look at the build features right real quick and you can see i mean it's it's pretty nice um unfortunately i don't physically have it here but we are going to go ahead and adopt it into his udm and we're going to take a look at it so it's got this 100 meg port here you don't need any more than 100 megs for your pdu um if you're trying to justify gigabit on a pdu will hold up so then you've got three gigabit ports for redundancy so this is probably where we're building in high availability there's your reset button and you've got uh, different banks right so you can see that this one is on a different uh, circuit breaker than these and um, here's that that NEMA plug we're all familiar with that the round kind of like twist lock plug and let's see, so weighs about 14 pounds. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. So you get, uh, per bank, you get uh, 12 plug-ins. And they are uh, 12, looks like they're 12 amp. So, and well, max is uh, 15 amp. So I am not there to physically touch this. I wish I was, but... We're going to go ahead and get it uh, adopted. When he asked me if I'd like to adopt this thing in and take a look at it, you can see here on his Dream Machine, it is ready to be adopted. He has the Pro, but now he decided to go ahead and start switching to these since they're available. I might put one on the rack back there. But then I had to put the plug-in in here. I don't know. But here it is. Let's go ahead and adopt this. And... We'll pull it up. It's getting ready. That's what the orange light means here. It's updating. And here in a minute, we will see the parent device. We'll see the outlets. We'll be able to see what settings we have. So I'm going to let this update and adopt, and we will be right back. All right, so our PDU HD is updated. You can see our IP address, MAC address. It's on the latest version of the firmware. It's uplink as server switch one, and it is full, uh, it is um, fast ethernet. Oh, that's cool, the little tooltip there. Um, so it's 100 megabits. Here are our outlets. So you can see each one of these um, can be uh, cycled. We can rename them. Right, so we can turn it off. This one, we can uh, any of these we can tag as our uh, modem being plugged into there. And if it can't get to the internet, it'll automatic uh, automatically do that. Here we can uh, cut power to it if we do that. And we go back. Um, it should here in a minute. Or did I forget? Oh, I forgot to click uh, apply changes down there at the bottom. Now you can see it's disabled. So. Um, on the outlet overview, you can see outlet number one is disabled. So I'll turn that back on. And you know what? I don't know if we can do any of those for the modem. Yeah, we can. So it's just weird that outlet number one is and outlet number 28 or so far apart. I'm not sure what that's all about, but we're going to go ahead and plug that back in here. You can see we can uh, do a manual power cycle. And then here is going to tell us how many watts 
we're drawing. And right now, because I'm doing this video, he doesn't have anything um, plugged into it. So, but we could do uh, you know, switch one and apply. Now it's switch one. We can come in here, we can power cycle the port. We can turn on that modem power cycle. And then here are those USB ports here. And uh, you can do the same thing with the USB ports, which is kind of nice. All right, and then we go to settings. And here we can change the name. We can change the brightness of the LCM. We can also do the multi-screen sync. It does have SNMP, which is really nice. And then on the uh, network... Um, settings we can change you know the management network to one of our other one of our other networks which is kind of nice we can put a static ip on it we can locate it if we have uh, many of them so the other thing that i wanted to touch on on this was the price um this thing is a thousand bucks so uh, pdus normally aren't cheap so you'll have to decide if this is, you know, something that you want to put in your rack. Um, I think if you're all Unify and you want the remote capability of, you know, being able to monitor things and power cycle things, $1,000 on a network build probably isn't a deal breaker. So if you've got any questions about this that I didn't cover, let me know. I wish I physically had one of these to be able to touch it and, and put it in the rack and use it because I would probably go ahead and swap out my, uh, my receptacle for that. But... You know, let me know if you've got any uh, questions down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And also go to community.willyhow.com. Join. We've got a lot of knowledgeable people over there. We're building this great community and we want you to be a part of it. So come on over. And... Uh, if you like this uh, PDU or if you've got questions, let me know down in the comments. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.